On today's episode of Adventure Travel, we will be visiting Seven Seas Beach in Fajardo, Puerto Rico, and exploring some hidden beaches that are only accessible by hiking a trail through some pristine mangrove forests. After that, we will be visiting Sal and Pimenta by the Sea, a popular seaside restaurant that is perched on top of a hill and overlooks the beautiful islands off the coast of Fajardo. Finally, we will be going on a nighttime kayaking tour in Laguna Grande. Laguna Grande is one of only five bioluminescent bays in the world and is one of three in Puerto Rico. Good morning guys, this is Puerto Rican coffee, it's called Yalcano, I believe. Two cups of Yalcano, start off our day, we'll keep the box away. Well, good morning everyone, uh, Lou here, and Anne, and Lizelle is still sleeping. Uh, today is Wednesday and the plan for today is we're going to be um, going to some beaches here in Fajardo. I believe the first one we're going to be going to is called Seven Seas Beach. <coughs> Seven Seas Beach and uh, that's actually not too far away. I think that's like a 10 minute drive. It looks pretty cool. It's like it has like a half crescent um, from the maps looking at it and then at Seven Seas Beach, there's another beach well, from the parking lot that you can actually walk to. Um, it's probably, I think it's like a 20 minute walk through the, through the woods, but um, it's a little bit of a hidden beach. And actually there's two beaches there. I believe it's called Escondida or Escondido. Uh, but we're gonna be showing you some uh, fit, footage of that as well uh, in today's video, so. Hola. Here's like some of the fish that they have around here. In this area. See, so they have manatees also. What's the fish I saw? They're sharks. So cool. Check out this cat. I don't know if it's scared though. I don't know. It's kind of cool. He's just sitting on a counter. Oh, there's just like this little, um, this little uh, snorkel shop where you can rent uh, kayak equipment and stuff. So we are at Seven Seas Beach in Fajardo. Um, this is kind of what you see. We parked inside the gated, um, there's like a gated uh, parking lot that you can park at and it's $5 to park. That's what we paid anyway. Um, but it's gated, you know, the car's safer there. Uh, you don't really have to worry about parking on the street. You could park on the street. We did see some uh, street parking, but you know, again, you don't have that added security layer that you do with a gated uh, fence. We just keep going until we find somewhere kind of neat. So this beach is actually uh, like a, it's shaped like a crescent moon. Water is absolutely beautiful. And there's like a little uh, net that you can see out there that I guess that's to keep the sharks out. So one thing about this beach, um, Seven Seas, is that uh, there's a bit of trash on the beach itself. Um, it's not too bad and I, I did not actually see any inside the water. But just to give you an idea um, of what it looks like, so. Over 
over here you've got some plastic on the beach so I you know it is what it is so you can see there's actually um, back here I mean there's trash trash cans everywhere but yeah you know for whatever reason people throw their trash on the, on the street um, so I don't know if you can hear it or not but I don't have the wind muff on but there's actually a storm about to blow in and I'm pointing at it right now um, looks like it's heading in from the south moving north actually you know what no it's actually moving west the storm is moving west um, so it looks like it's gonna blow right over I don't know if you can see it or not but like um, it's, it's it's raining right now where I am but it's also like sun as well so we're having kind of like a sun shower here at Seven Seas Beach and you can kind of see in the distance it's um, you know very sunny the sun's coming out but it's raining right where i am too it's just and it's, and it's a really pretty rain it's like a like a mist kind of rain um but yeah this is amazing amazing beach seven seas highly recommend it um it's not too too packed so we got here about nine o'clock in the parking lot was essentially empty um but yeah so um yeah i just about to go into water um we got some snorkel gear on Amazon. We're gonna try to find it and put a link in the description uh, in the comments below or whatever, however they do it on YouTube. We're new at this. So um, yeah, this snorkel set, it comes with fins, it comes with um, a mask, and it comes with um, a breather, breathing apparatus, as you can see, fins. So this is all we get. How much do we pay for this? Like $50. 50? 40, 50. Like 40, 50 dollars, but you know, it's it's pretty cool because you can lug it around at all the different um, beaches you go to in Puerto Rico. And on top of that, like they actually rent snorkel equipment here. But with COVID, like, do you really want to be sharing snorkel equipment with the next guy? How do I, what do I think of this beach? What do I think of the water? Um, water is very warm. Uh, not a whole lot of coral, but you do have a lot of seagrass on this beach. Um, so that's kind of cool. And uh, it gets a little bit deep uh, as you get out to the net. Um, and the clarity is not that great. Like, so if you're actually in the water you can't see that far in front of you, which kind of creeps me out because I don't know what's around me. Right now, we're actually going to be heading over to uh, another beach that we have to hike to. There's no roads that, that go to that beach. So we have to take like a, a trail uh, through the jungle to actually get there. So it should be like a 20 or 30 minute hike. Heading towards the other secret beach I told you about. It's called Playa Escondida. And we also made some friends on the beach. Um, a gentleman by the name of Alex and his wife Ingrid as well as your two daughters so if you can see them behind me they're actually uh, coming with us uh, on this uh, trail adventure <laughs>
All right, here we go, guys. This is the trailhead. Um, got some signs here. All right, venture begins. It's like a little jungle trail through here. Look at this. Was this worth the hike, ladies? And the bug bites? <laughs> oh my god, we did it. We did it. Oh, yes, we did it. We did it, Alex. You did it, Alex. You did it, Alex. Wow. So this is Playa Escondida, I believe. Um, absolutely gorgeous. They have a lot of uh, they have a lot of surf back there as well, as you can see. A lot of waves, and you can see like the mountains. You can see I'll see some hotels in the distance. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So I think Playa Escondida. It's basically you got to take a trail to get here through a jungle, but it's totally worth it, guys. Um, highly recommend coming out here. Is this not crazy, Lizzo? Is this like everything you dreamed about? Uh, starting to rain here a little bit um, nothing bad I don't hear any lightning or anything but uh, it's pretty cool you know when it rains here it rains it rains like really light you know nothing heavy so so you go to this side of the beach I'm just basically you know back there is the beach we were on 
fly a Squindito. But if you go around this way, keep moving. I mean, look at that view. You've got the mountains in the background. You got rain. It's raining. I mean, just this is like paradise, right? It doesn't get any better than this. Ooh. It's actually starting to rain pretty hard right now. Yeah, it's really starting to pour down right now. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> wow. Anyway, this is what raiding season is like in the Caribbean. You know, you get caught in the storms. They last for about five or ten minutes. But then they blow over and it's sunny again. So, as you'll see. Hey guys, we're, uh, so we're just um, getting ready to leave. And we're going to check out that other beach that's uh, adjacent to here. Um, so, yeah, we'll show you what we, what's up. Welcome to the jungle. That beach, beach was definitely worth the trip. Um, it's a, probably, probably take us about 20 minutes to walk through this jungle trail, uh, but definitely worth the effort. So we're gonna actually make a left and go check out this other beach that is also connected here. Man, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. I'm, I mean, I'm just getting tore up. <laughs> wow. They're super aggressive. And we're like walking, but they're still like attacking us. Um, so anyway, it is what it is. Hopefully I won't catch Zika. All right, we're at the other little beach, the smaller one. You can see basically it's completely like blocked in. There's no way to get to this beach other than through the, tr the trail we just came out of um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you on a map I forget the name of it but like this water actually looks a little bit too rough to swim in um, to be honest with you waves are pretty strong probably like a very strong undertow as well um, they're really cool What do you think? It looks too strong to swim in though. It looks too strong to swim in. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't remember the name of this beach. It's Playa Colara, Playa Colara. But you're going to get to a point on that trail uh, where there's going to be a junction. So if you go left, it's going to take you to the last beach we were at. If you go right, it takes you to this beach, which is like... So we had some rain showers that just rolled through here and you can see this place is just mud, lots of mud. So I'm actually doing this barefoot just because just way too much mud. I'm not going to be getting my shoes all dirty. So it is what it is. Oh, here we go. Some more of this stuff. All right. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. Move forward. Fence. There's a lot of mosquitoes over there. <laughs> This beach never looks so beautiful after coming through that hill. Uh, coming back on this beach is just a real godsend. So very happy to be back on Seven Seas Beach.
Yeah, we're gonna be leaving Seven Seas Beach now, and we're gonna be going to uh, tonight. We're, we're gonna get something to eat right now, but after that, we're gonna go to a bioluminesc bioluminescent tour in Fajardo. There's like a little um, lake or pond where they have these bioluminescent uh, algae or plankton or whatever they're called that uh, glow, glow in the dark at night. So uh, we hear that it looks better if the moon is not out that much um but if there's like a lot of moon then it's actually uh, not as interesting so yeah this last uh view of seven seas beach so we are actually heading to a restaurant called sal and pimienta sal and pimienta and fajardo and you can see that's it right there and across the street over here We heard good things about this place and uh, you know we're gonna check it out let you know what we think about it pretty good view though as you can see from behind me restaurant it's actually the translation is called salt and pepper um, the place is freaking busy guys like there's a line of people outside to, that can't even get in like seriously every table is pretty much full um, I haven't tried the food yet so I can't really tell you but like that we're not sitting on a patio but that patio view is absolutely epic uh, ridiculous like you can basically see the whole east side of Puerto Rico you can even see Vieques from the patio uh, as I as I showed you before on or you know you would have you, you're gonna see it but point is that um, amazing view uh, what, do you, what do you have there Sausage with wine sauce, I believe it is. And Anne, what did you get? This is a snapper filler fillet de chino, chino with um, cilantro sauce. So snapper. Snapper fillet with cilantro sauce. Cool, cool. So Delicious. yeah, so that's what we got to eat. So guys, the tostones, tostones is this thing right here. Um, tostones is basically like it's like a plant. I think it's a plantain. It's like a fried plantain, but um, really good. I highly recommend you guys try it if you're ever in Puerto Rico. And the sausage that I'm trying, this um, sausage and wine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Highly recommend it. Is that chorizo? Yeah, it's like chorizo. 
How's yours? Good, you want a bite? Enjoy. Uh, I'll take another um, beer, Medela. Med Medela? Hey guys, so we're about to go do the um, night kayaking at Fajardo, Puerto Rico, um, Bioluminescent Bay. It's not the one in Mosquito Bay, it's the one in Fajardo. Um, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to capture on video because apparently you can't really see the glowing algae on the camera. Um, but we're going to try my best. Would be super cool. I, yeah, we're down. The voice buttons up, okay? <laughs> now, push your back. The person in the front is going left. You will also twice as hard also on the left. If they go right, twice as hard on the right. Remember, communication is the key. You must communicate because if you do not, sorry, if you do not communicate, you will end up inside the trees, okay? You don't want that. So remember, person in the front, talk. Have a conversation in the kayak. Remember, you're not mind readers, okay? You're not mind readers. Instead of that, we have left turns, right turns, low branches. There's also 12 other companies, a lot of people, a lot of stuff, okay? This exciting adventure had us kayak one mile up a narrow creek in pitch black darkness with countless other adventures. At the end of the creek were the glowing waters of Laguna Grande. Unfortunately, our camera could capture very little in the darkness, but we would highly recommend any travelers going into Fajardo to not miss Laguna Grande Bioluminescent Bay. Thank you for watching this episode of Adventure Travel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos of our adventures in Puerto Rico, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also support us by watching the commercials on our YouTube channel.